Hey gang, Ronan here. As you can see in this game, we've got Sir Hammer playing the Gepard. And Squidpent is in La Galassonnier. Is that how you pronounce that? Um, I don't know a whole heck of a lot about this game, other than that, uh, despite a not very strong damage total, our hero here had a pretty great game. So we'll we'll see it together. I haven't haven't seen the video. Matchmaking? Well, matchmaking's about as good as it can get, I suppose. There is a CV on either team. Uh, fairly common these days. One destroyer, excuse me, one submarine on each team. Three destroyers. And a lot of battleships for torpedoes. Now, Gippard is uh, actually a pretty fun ship to play. I can't say I have a lot of games in it, but I have played it some. If you're unfamiliar, it's got uh, five 139s. They hit reasonably hard. They do uh, max HE damage of 2,000 per shell, which is significant. You can see the reload's pretty good. Especially when you're using the reload booster as our hero was here. Turns out, easily avoiding the enemy torpedoes. And this next volley is going to do it, I think, for Besteris. And down he goes. Now the French destroyers, of course, don't have smoke, but that uh, reload booster is pretty phenomenal. And the torpedoes have 8 kilometers of range. So, as I mentioned, max damage with the HE of 2,000 per shell, 9% fire chance, AP max damage, 2,600. And if you get in a position to be able to use those against a broadside, especially a cruiser, that can be pretty effective, especially with the reload booster. Okay, so we know that the, the red submarine, U-69, is here somewhere because he's just pinged our hero. Now, the torpedoes, as I mentioned, have 8 kilometers of range. They do a max damage of 14,833 per torpedo with a 90-second reload. Max range, when fully kitted out, 13 kilometers. And max speed, 36 knots. Slap on a speed flag, you can do a little bit better than that. All right, looks like Sir Hammer had his eye on Arizona, but uh, Arizona is running away. It's already pretty banged up. Ismail finishes off the friendly Dallas. Good guys are in a pretty, pretty strong position right here. They've got a Fabuki down in the cap at the other end of the map. Uh, enemy Hatsuharu is, he's pushing in. Looks like uh, Sir Hammer is detected by the submarine. Who was probably trying like mad to ping Sir Hammer, but no pings landed. And there he is. Now, you've, uh, if you've been watching my videos regularly, you've heard all the complaints that I have about submarine as submarines as implemented, so I won't reiterate any of that. Uh, I will say that not the last submarine video that, that, I, that I did, but the one before that, I, I detailed some of my complaints, and there are a lot of others. So I, I, I won't do that here. I will say that the, uh, the dev blog makes clear that we're gaming plan to make some significant changes, and I'm, I'm glad for that. Let's hope one of these 
barrels takes out the U69. And it does. New Mexico is moving toward our hero. So Sir Hammer gets those torpedoes away. Uh, New Mexico might turn out enough and move away far enough to avoid getting struck, but it'll be close. And Sir Hammer gets to work with the HE. Got the reload booster trying to get a fire started on the Arizona. And he might finish him off. Yeah, torpedoes did not have quite enough range. New Mexico is able to move away. There's the fire that'll finish off the Arizona. Yeah, okay, so now I'm kind of getting what uh, what Sir Hammer was talking about. So we're at 16,850 damage with three kills. And this could end quite suddenly. <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of hoping to see uh, one of the green ships get sunk here. Maybe T-61 will get finished. Yeah, he did. Because if, if the red ships, uh, if the red guys lose one more ship, uh, this game's over. So, in case this ends really abruptly and it catches me off guard, I want to say great game. Uh, ooh, Squid gets flapped by the New Mexico. <laughs> so, uh, that, that buys the red guys a little bit more room. That's an interesting fight here, the Bayern and Ismail chasing down the New Mexico. New Mexico's guns hit very hard, but uh, both Ismail and Byron are well armored. The Reds take the Bravo cap, thanks to their Hatsuharu. And it looks to me like the, the bad guys are probably gonna gain the advantage down at Charlie. They've got uh, two Ismails and a Byron. So this New Mexico is just fighting for time. Reload booster is active. Sir Hammer trying to get a fire started. Down goes the Arizona at the very bottom of the map. There's the fire. I don't know that these torpedoes are fast enough to catch New Mexico, even though New Mexico is very slow. What's the max speed, like 21 knots? But we'll see. Fire continues to burn. New Mexico wisely hanging on to his repair party. And then as soon as I say that, he repairs. So if those torpedoes do catch up, he's in a world of hurt. No, I think he's managed to outrun them. But they did have the range. AP shot into the side. Nope. No go. Chip damage. I think I'd probably switch back to HE, and I imagine he probably will here in a second. And Hatsuhato burns down the Normandy. And just like that, the bad guys are right back in it. Both teams now with five ships. Probably time to switch back to HE. Reload booster is active. Now he's at least firing into the superstructure, doing some damage. But that's really the only place you can do damage. But I think it's probably going to be enough. And it is. Nicely done, I have to say. I, I would have gone with HE there, but you definitely made the AP work. 
so good on you. Bad guys are now bottled up at the Charlie Cap. They've got uh, Byron, Ismail, Ismail, and Hatsu Haru. Good guys still have their Ranger, Byron, Ismail, Gepard, and Cashalo. Ismail is pushing directly at the Cashalo, and I imagine he's probably going to eat a face full of torpedoes. But where this was looking like the game was over, the bad guys have brought themselves back. Look at this Byron. Uh. Ismail does eat a face full of torpedoes, kind of as anticipated. Hopefully our friendly Byron will stop reversing and get back in the game. Of course, you know, these days, it might be this guy's 12th game in the Byron. You can buy yourself signals to jump up through the tiers and nothing fly up. All right, so enemy Byron is now facing the same thing his buddy the Ismail did. And the Hatsuharu is in the cap. No more reload booster. And if our hero opens up here, the Ismail on his starboard side is liable to get it. But I think he made the right call going ahead and shooting. And one more like that, and that'll do it for the Hatsuharu. Ooh, so close. Here comes the blap shot. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that was close. All right, so Hatsuharu is uh, plainly trying to get uh, depth charges on the Cachalo. And Sir Hammer's got his torpedoes away. Gonna try and finish up the Byron, as I mentioned a little bit ago. No smoke on these ships. 101 HP, and that <laughs> that means that's it for our hero. But those torpedoes look good. I don't see any way Byron gets away, and that means Kraken. So <laughs> this is uh, this is what Sir Hammer was talking about. So he's got himself a Kraken, and he did that. Uh, with very little total damage. And this one's just going to kind of wind on down here. I'm surprised that uh, that there's no motion yet, but We know the Ismail is facing off with the Byron. Friendly Ismail, I'm not sure what he's thinking, but... Uh, looks like he's just sitting there. Cash a little torpedo, see Ismail. That only leaves the destroyer on the red team. Kind of weird that all the uh, those things along the right-hand side haven't updated. Sir Hammer giving some advice to his ranger. This one's all over but the shouting. Uh, great game. Sir Hammer, uh, congratulations on your Kraken, sir. Squid, nice try. Thanks for joining me. See you next